Hey guys, and welcome in or welcome back to my channel. You know it's going to be an interesting video when I started off already looking crazy. As you can see by the title, I'm going to be doing a video on my makeup pet peeves. We've all got them. They might not all be the same, but I'm excited to get into mine. So let's just get into mine. So you probably already noticed my first pet peeve. That would be my brows. You know, some people demand twins. They demand sisters. I have days when I can't even get my brows to be cousins, distant cousins. Play cousins. Y'all were just found at the cookout yesterday, like what's going on today? Moving on, it's a pet peeve of mine when I can find Waldo faster than I can find the pigment in eyeshadow. Now you see how colorful this is, right? You would think, oh, that's going to look bomb on you. What? What? Well, alrighty then, but a beautiful combination of Barely There, Unblendable, and Ash. But that is not my only eyeshadow pet peeve. Another is when you just look at a palette and you're like, what am I supposed to do with that? And probably the most disrespectful eyeshadow pet peeve, Fallout. Or in this case, Fall Up, Fall Dust. What is that? So you do your eyeliner wings out there looking fierce, and then, you know, next thing you know, oh. Now, of course, there are ways to fix smudged eyeliner, but it just really kills your momentum when you create such a beautiful eyeshadow look. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, your eyeliner just goes ahead and ruins everything, which leads me into eyeliner's evil stepsister, mascara. You know, you go ahead, you get, you get your lashes looking all, you know, as if trying not to poke your eye out isn't enough. Of course, this is always that moment where you just gotta... <laughs> Now one pet peeve with primer is when people use illuminator as primer just to cover it up with foundation, like why? You know, I mean the tin foil look is cute and all, but why? Like is there something that we, we're not getting here, something you guys aren't sharing about why you do this, especially when I see oily skin doing it, like, it smells like rice. Maybe I'm just that Haitian. Now, unless you are new here to my channel, then you probably know quite a few of my foundation pet peeves. I've got a whole series about it that I'll leave right here in that eye. Um, but my biggest pet peeve with foundation has to be when a company names its last shade Deep Mocha Deep Dark Espresso. And it looks like this. Pause. Beauty sponge pet peeve when it's as hard as a rock and you're literally beating the collagen out of your face. Little do you know you're activating early aging. Now when it comes to concealer, you know a lot of it is subjective. Use it however you want. If you want to conceal, if you want to highlight, do all of that. Be merry. But I feel like, you know, we can all agree that one pet peeve with concealer is when it just will not blend out. Where did that sponge go? Did I turn the stove off? Of course my camera would stop filming right before I have to blend out this concealer that is known to be difficult to blend out. Let's pause for a moment and just allow that person that time in the comments down below to write Just use an oil on your face and it'll blend out. So a combination of my concealer already drying down and my sponge being too big to fit in the area under my eye leaves us with this on my face. Let's just, you know, move on. We've got setting powder here and setting powder is just sweet and dandy. You know, you get your little... Uh-huh, get all, all up under there, still can't fit. You know, you gotta, you gotta bake, but you also gotta make the baking process look cool, so just, just get all up and sharp, you know, want your face to look snatched. This is also the point where, you know, most people get their little, their thumbnails. Let me just go ahead and take that. For a second, I thought it wasn't coming off. Just go ahead and take that off. Is this what transracial means? So you dust it all off and you're thinking, yes, my face is about to stay matte all day and my makeup's not going to budge, it's not going to move anywhere. And then you get in the club and you take that flash picture and it's just... I don't have many pet peeves when it comes to contour and that's probably because the pet peeve that I actually do have is what stops me from trying most contouring products. Um, yeah, my biggest pet peeve would have to be that most contour products are my foundation shade. Like, what am I, what am I supposed to do with this? This looks like I just placed my highlighter too low on my face. Look, I could even go hard with the contour. Did that make a difference? I don't really have much issue with blush. I did also just start wearing it. I guess besides the, uh, you know, shade selection, shade selection, shade selection. Uh, I guess besides that, you know, I don't, I don't really have anything else to say. Come back in a couple months, I'll let you know if I found anything that bothers me with blush. 
I also don't really have much issue with highlights. I guess the one thing that does grind my gears is when the highlight doesn't stay where I placed it. I don't know how to zoom yet on this camera, but I put it here. Now, it's not a pet peeve of mine, but I do know this irritates quite a few people when uh, the highlight is just like a landing strip on the side of your face, but hey, you know, wherever you highlight, however you want to, it's your face. And the last thing is lipstick, and there's nothing that irritates me even more than the unflattering lipstick shades that are out there, then when you put your lipstick on, you know, you're looking all cute, thinking, yes, my look is finalized, and then you smile, and... What is that? I had not one but two people tell me I had lipstick or lip gloss, whatever I was wearing that day, on my Teeth of Beauty Con last weekend. I felt some type of way. So that is it for my full face of makeup pet peeves. This was just a lighthearted video I could do while testing out my setup. Let me know in the comments down below what some of your makeup pet peeves are. Do we have the same pet peeves? Do some of the things that bother me not bother you? Also make sure to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe down below. Thank you all for watching. I will see you on the next one. Bye! Wait, wait a minute. Now I, I did pick this because I swatched them and there wasn't much pigment there, but I didn't think I didn't think it would look like like this. Okay, I won't even like tap the excess off and let's hope when you were trying to troll and actually end up getting trolled yep get all up into that smudge follow the yellow brick road nah this is legit as hard as a rock what sponge is this Okay, so here's the thing. I tweeted out what powders do you guys think have flashback, and luckily I didn't own 90% of the pack. I don't think I owned any of the powders that you guys recommended because if I have tried a powder that has flashback, I have most likely given it away or I just can't find it. So I'm kind of hoping that putting a whole bunch of powders on top of each other while I let them bake will give me some flashback or um, this next part isn't going to make sense. Thank you.